Hello, my name is Anna and I'm a general consultant here at Mayan Technologies. In today's video, we'll be looking into how to create and manage leads on Akimarika ERP. Our video will be divided into how to create a lead, managing activities, and how to check and validate for duplicates. To start managing our leads, we will first have to go to our marketing tab and under the activities profile, we will click leads. What Akumarika will show us is a window when we have a list of all the entries we have created thus far and a summary of each one of them. We can see that it's from the display name to our contact information as well as internal information such as owner, the date it was created and how we have classified each lead. Now I will go on and create a new lead. I will go to add new record, which will open a window where we can start updating the information of our new lead. We have here in the summary area a description window where we can add a little note to be able to identify the, what the lead wants or the nature of this lead. We also have our contact information and business accounts, which can be filled up with information that we can have already have. For example, if I already have a contact or a business account for this new lead, I can select it in here. I can also select an owner, which will be an employee inside my organization. And I can also identify if this lead is from a specific source or marketing campaign. So now what I will do is go ahead and start filling up the information. I have already preloaded one, so I will just go on and paste it. So now I have created this lead. I have the first name who will be Anjanas, who is the owner of Beans & Co. I have her contact information that was her email and her business number. I also have added her address and a little description for our sales team to and a little description for our sales team to know what this lead is about. So what do I have here? Anne from Vincent Co wants to update their internal software and they want to be able to divide a bill for it to be paid with different methods. And right now they only accept cash, cash or card. So this description will allow us to know as the lead goes on in the workflow, what we are looking at and how to assign this further on. So description, it's important if we want to keep track of that. Now I will go and save the lead. Our next step will be to validate for duplicates. So how do I validate for a duplicate? Right now I saved my lead and here in duplicate I have not validated. What this means is it has not been yet validated as a duplicate. Akimarika has not yet searched the system to see if there's another lead similar to this. In Akimarika we can configure the sensibility of our validation and we can set it up to be more focused focused on email or on a cell phone number and a business number in the name in the account name so right now i will go ahead and show you we go here and under the validation we will click check for duplicates so what the system is doing is searching if there's an entry similar to this one Okay, and now we can see that it has been validated, meaning that there is no other duplicate. If there was another duplicate, what we will be seeing here is possible duplicate. So now what I will do is go ahead and I will copy this one and I will create a new one just for us to see how this works, how the duplicates work. So I just created a new entry exactly the same with the same information word for word as the one we already did. So we'll go ahead and save it. And then we'll go check for duplicates. 
And as you can see, it now is marketing as a possible duplicate. And we have a new tab here that appeared once we cleared, click validate and the system knows that it's a duplicate. This uh, tab already appears. So here we have two options to link to entity, meaning that we can link this one to the first lead we created or we can merge it. So what I will do now is merge. So for this, we click on the checkbox here and we will click merge. And now here we have it as validated. And if I go back, you can see that one has a new status and one has a disqualified status meaning that this one will be the main lead we will be working for here on out. This one has been marked as a duplicate. And this is how Acumalica will let us know that we have already created a lead with the same information. So this can also work with only an email. Now I will do that again. I will create a new one with the same information, but I will have no email and no phone number. So how will it check if it's a duplicate by the name and by the address? So let me save, check for duplicates. And here we have possible duplicate. Now we will link to entity. So here it is telling me that the email and the phone are different, but I can select the one that is correct. So for example, if I had had a different email, but the system says that, you know what, the name, the address, everything is the same except the email, it will alert me as a possible duplicate. And here I could select which email is the correct one. So here, I don't want it to be blank, so I select the information, I click OK. Is it processing? And now we can go back and see we have two disqualified one, one marked as new, and these two are as duplicated. Now, I want to go on uh, into the next chapter, which will be managing activities. What are activities? So if I go into our lead, we can see different tabs here, which contain well the activities. We also have our CRM info, which will be lead classes, our work, work, work groups, which we can see this in another video we have, which is assignment groups, which we can see in another video we have, which are assignment maps and Approval maps, we touch a little bit of in we touch a little bit on work groups there. So here we can see we have different tabs. We have the activities tab, we have the CRM info tab, attributes, relations. So right now I want to focus on activities. What are the activities? Okay, here in the activities tab, I can keep track of everything related to this lead. So right now I am working as a marketing team. So what I can do here is uh, send an email directly to my lead. So right here from Acumatica, I can be sending information. So if, for example, and once more a follow-up, I can add an email. And follow up and call. So I will save it. And here I can send it directly to Anne from, from this window, or I can just save it to be sent later. So right now, if I close it, I can see that my entry has been updated here. And this will work with everything I do inside this tab. If I create an event or a task 
or if I want to also update a phone call or a note, everything will be added in this tab. This is really useful when several people are managing the leads and the workflow, so we can keep track of who is dealing with who and what is being talked about. This tab is really important to keep track of that. Now our next step as the marketing team will be to qualify this lead. So what I will do is go ahead here in the toolbar and click qualify. Here I have the reason which will be qualified in marketing. This meaning in our workflow that now marketing has sent this lead to sales. So I will click OK. And now if I go to the CRM info, So now it has been qualified by marketing. Here in my reason, I have qualified by marketing and the status is sales ready. This means that now my sales team is able to work on this lead. I have all the information necessary. I already talked to the lead and have every piece of information for my sales team to be able to continue working with this, cl this prospect client. So what my sales team will do after doing or following up with everything my marketing team has done, they can also add activities, they can also add phone calls, notes, whatever they need. And now what they can do is accept, which means that now they are saying that this lead is on its way to becoming a client. So now let's get into the... So now let's get into the sales department and the sales department will accept this lead. Here we have reason accept by sales and we'll click OK. So now this is sales accepted and this can be later on converted into opportunity. But now what will happen if this lead does not go through, meaning that the prospect has decided he doesn't want to deal with us anymore and he's not interested in our service or product, we can do two things. We can delete the lead or we can mark it as, we, we can disqualify it. So imagining that this went up to sales and now the client said he's not interested, we will go here in the toolbar and click disqualify. Now Acumatica will give me a list of reasons to why the client might not be interested anymore. One being he's simply not interested. We weren't, sales was unable to contact them. It is a duplicate or other. So right now Anne is not interested anymore. So we will click not interest, okay. And now my lead has been disqualified and the reason is they have no interest. Why do I recommend to do this instead of deleting it is to have a record of everything we have done because we also can add notes telling the telling the future sales team or in a, adding information to our system of why and was not interested we can add a note saying she thought the price was too high maybe it's not the right moment so all this information can be stored here in Acumatica. And this is how we can manage our leads from creating one to qualifying one. And this is how you manage and create a lead on Acumatica ERP. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe.